the questions answer session but uh, that would be after some discussion then we will be opening the floor for question answer and then again we will continue with our discussions uh, before i start my first question there is a two line that i recollect uh, of one of the shayari is that chale the saath manzil ko paane ke liye chale the saath manzil ko paane ke liye manzil reh gayi hai piche daud rahe hai ek dusre ko harane ke liye that is the right now the case of latency uh, most of the people who are trading in algos and hft must be knowing what is latency latency is their god so i would like to start with gupta ji uh, latency we for which everybody was planning or fighting for to have a you know micro and pico second more what is the way out and is this race non ending or is there a some way to win this race uh, hello yeah yeah it is true i agree with you you know latency has become a never ending race uh, it will continue to be there until we come up with something different see if we if we continue to use the same algo same arbitrage algos cash future 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 all of us uh, the latency will always be an important game time has come for us to identify newer opportunities intelligent algos and win the race only with our intelligence that's completely right uh, let us not fight based on uh, who has the best computers and who has the best servers instead i think uh, as we can learn from the west uh, and the more mature markets the fight should be on who has the best strategy and who has the best ideas and who has the best research if both of, if both parties or the, the entire market is fighting for one apple everyone is going to get a very small piece of that apple but if we decide to change our strategies and change our viewpoint ex speed of execution and latency then is not important anymore whereas quality of the strategy becomes more important yeah so there is actually uh, just to add there is a case where you all might have heard there is a company in the us called spread networks which spent 300 million dollars to bring build a line between chicago and new jersey to shave off 3 milliseconds okay so the cost of technology we have to be 300 million dollars is what into 60 rupees can do the math like whatever it is but effectively the point is that the cost of doing that business was more than the benefit that can be got from the business so we have to understand are we doing technology for technology sake or are we doing that for business sake i think that's primarily like i can like my view actually one key point that we have to realize is is that uh, over a period of last 4 5 years the quality of market has improved uh, the depths have increased in the sense that if we want to uh, put in bigger orders take bigger positions it has become far easier uh, the second point is that the instruments that were not earlier liquid so let's say 5 years back stock options stock futures all of these were not liquid but as a result of algorithmic trading and automated trading they have basically caught uh, volumes caught on volumes and as a result markets have uh, given investors a lot of options and continuing in the same vein what is happening is that uh, unlike the west indian markets are highly democratic so uh, be it an institutional investor or be it a be it a retail investor they are basically treated by the exchanges and the regulators at the same level and that is precisely where the indian markets have a lot a lot uh, of uh, as uh, in terms of yuvraj's words a lot of lot of apples for us to you know have for, uh, for ourselves since uh, you are you are talked about uh, western countries uh, how much lacking are indian automated trading right now compared to us or europe where do we exactly uh, stand are we Uh, lacking how may where we are lacking and uh, how much we are lacking uh, compared to the west we are not lacking in uh, any sense other than probably infrastructure uh, infrastructure is bane of almost everything in india right now but the thing is that uh, other than uh, probably in terms of infrastructure almost every technology has caught up so if you look at the look at the uh, look at the servers or the 
communication technology. People can uh, buy them off the shelf in the markets. So that is not a big deal. And in terms of the operating systems or say the software technology, it's almost the same as the West. So the key differentiator is mostly probably uh, probably the infrastructure in that sense, in the, in the communication networks. One of the points where I think we are lacking is not in terms of uh, our computers, not in terms of our infrastructure, but in terms of our knowledge and in terms of uh, the way uh, the Indian public, both retail and institutional, looks at algorithms. Uh, currently, the perception of algorithms is so negative and uh, as we were discussing before this, any mistake or any flash trade or any fat finger in the market, the first idea we get is this must have been because of an algorithm. So it is not it is uh, not that we don't have the tools, but it is not it is that we don't have the mindset yet to completely exploit uh, the wonderful basket of opportunities that algos provide to us. Yeah, like exactly what what you were saying. So crashes or you know things happen even without algos. It's 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 a very very big misconception that algos cause crashes. Okay, so if markets, it's their nature to, you know, go up and down. Prices are not just meant to go up, you know, that is not real. It's a nature of a market to go up and go down. It's, it's normal, but blame it on the system is like the easy word, you know, we can escape from it and we say just blame it on the system. So that's, that's completely true. Yeah, so uh, let me add that even with all of this, what our friends have said, I'm saying that we have already taken uh, quite a bit of uh, jump in the automated trading industry. If you look at the figures published by most of the exchanges, NSC, BSC, and NCX, uh, we, uh, I think we have, uh, we are about 30% of our volumes are being traded through algorithmic trading. Okay, so who's? Okay. All right, so yeah, you know, uh, the latest figures, as we said, is about 34 to 40%. So those, some people have already taken the initiatives and, and this has happened uh, in, in last five years when the algorithmic trading was uh, launched. So within five years, India has reached from zero to say 40%. Okay, and uh, uh, US and Europe, uh, they are I think about 75%, right? So, and uh, so I'm sure, you know, in India, when there is, there is a technology adaption, we could do it much better. It's as uh, you said that we have to have the mindset of adapting this technology. There should not be any fear that it's not for me. So we have to get into the disciplined way of trading. We have to acquire that it is for me. Anybody can acquire it. And uh, yes, we will be there very soon. We will be competing with the developed countries. Yeah, uh, see the crash of any kind has uh, like there was a fat finger uh, punching which caused a crash of market. And the first thing everybody was thinking was some algo has gone wrong. Something has always gone wrong with the algo. And guys who were operating algos were on the toes on that day. They were more, most of the guys were there in office till late night, just uh, looking whether their algos were okay. So uh, one can understand that see basically any kind of crash is not good for that particular trader also, and the industry as well. How what should be done so that the algo trader uh, can precisely operate as it should operate the execution, the compliance and the, uh, uh, his strategy to the point. So what should be done in that respect? Uh, I think uh, you answered it in your question itself. There should be a, a change in the way our regulators regulate algos. Most of the regulations are done as a black box. Pura jo system hai, pura jo environment hai, uska uh, aapko license milta hai. What happens is there is a clear difference between strategy and execution platform. The testing should be done individually and specifically of both these things. Because there are sometimes failures in terms of execution and there are sometimes failures in terms of your strategy. If your strategy is read the market wrong or if it shoots out a wrong order. Uh, currently, it is because most, as we said, 40% of our uh, market volume is algorithmic. But I invite you to uh, examine out of that 40%, how much is retail? Is retail participation? It is only institutional investors. 
So I, our regulators have become a little complacent because they know that it is the big money that is making these algorithms. But to prevent uh, compliance failures, to prevent uh, execution failures and to prevent strategic failures. I think we need to examine the way we give licenses and we need to uh, examine modularly what can go wrong in an isolated situation and in an open market situation. Actually, one thing that we have to realize is, is that uh, since ever since algorithmic trading was allowed in India, the gulf between institutional investor and the retail investor has increased. And that is because the regulations have not opened up for a retail trader. Uh, the regulators are yet to probably uh, yet to probably look at a retail trader as a as an interesting participant, as a participant who knows what exactly he is doing, what risks he is taking, and what kind of uh, what kind of strategy he is running. So, in in terms of that, I am yet to see anything from uh, the regulators on that part. But I am very hopeful uh, for the future because a lot of interesting opportunities for uh, retail participants, especially in algorithmic trading, have opened up, especially in terms of platforms, especially in terms of products. And these products are coming from abroad, and they are also built inside India. And this is precisely what enthuses me about basically bringing in retail participation into algorithmic trading. Yeah, certainly, you know, as, as you see slowly, uh, retails have started uh, asking their brokers that uh, we are algo ready, where do I do it? You know, do you have a platform? And that is putting a reverse pressure both on the broker side and on the regulator side. So regulators have uh, taken some step to make it a little more easier but yes, we have to, uh, we are still far off than what it is required. Uh, the platforms what are used by the institutional uh, traders or the brokers, they are different and the platforms what are required to be used by the retail traders for algorithmic trading, they are going to be different. So they have to be regulated differently and uh, monitored differently. Yeah, if you actually see, so the retail trader now is going to be someone who is basically like an engineering grad with computer skills and you know, understands some math and he, he, is, he very well probably knows what he's doing. So, the importance which regulators need to start giving is that retail is, is not like a category which is just does not know or something. It's not like that. The investor is very sophisticated now. You'll be surprised a lot of investors know a lot about like futures, options, strategies, what we are doing and they ask questions which you would have otherwise thought that, you know, this guy does not know finance, yeah, Greeks and all that, but that's not true. A lot of them are very, very aware. So, at the, the algo trading is actually the platform to revolutionize themselves to, you know, achieve probably better returns or do it in a systematic way. So, they should open it up in a, in a, in a, in a you know, proper manner. That is good for everyone generally and the industry. Do you think right now regulators are overdoing or... Uh the regulations? One of the main reasons why we don't have the same kind of problems that they have in the West, the subprime mortgage crisis or uh, bad financial products, is because our regulators are regulating our market. We are a very nascent market and our markets don't have that much of depth. It is a discovery process for both them and us. They are doing their best, albeit in a misguided fashion. But I think a little bit of uh, control by the regulators is required, especially with tools as powerful as algorithms. They are not moving fast enough, I, I accept. They are not focusing on making algorithmic trading more accessible, but they are focusing on managing risk and reducing the impact that it has on our market. Yeah, I agree. Uh, maybe, you know, uh uh, as the whole uh, system is evolving, we all of us are learning and I think regulators are also learning how to deal with this situation, with this evolving phase. Uh, we used to have uh, ring-based trading and then from ring-based we came to the electronic trading. From the electronic trading we moved to the internet-based trading, IBT platforms. And now from IBT we are now moving into the automated trading platform. So this is the inception of the automated trading system in India. Uh, all of us are uh, trying to learn how we adopt to the system and I'm sure uh, even regulators will have to take some more steps 
because from the HFT side, they have already done lot many things, but from the uh, from the individual retail side, active trader side, possibly a different mindset may have to be uh, taken to make to make to promote this whole automated trading for that. Actually, one very welcome step that has happened recently is that uh, in the budget itself, they have notified that uh, FMC, which was monitoring basically the commodities market, and SEBI, which is basically regulating the uh, currency, com uh, currency and equity markets and derivatives market, they are going to be merged. Now, as a result, what will happen is that there will be common uh, compliance rules for various asset bases. So right now what is happening is people who are doing commodities, they have to have a different license from the ones who are doing equities. Now what will happen is if they come together, the hope is that it will become simplified, it will become simpler and for the investor at large, it will be far, far more friendly in terms of, uh, the, uh, in terms of managing his funds, managing his positions and all. So once it becomes more centralized, I think that there is going to be far, far better regulation that we can expect because SEBI in certain terms has been quite uh, forward and FMC on those terms has lagged in terms of perception because uh, commodities have been, have not reached out to retail participants as of now. In, 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 uh, in terms of if you look at commodities participation, retail participation, it is far lesser than what equities have been able to. And commodities are a very, very important asset class. So once these regulators, they, they, have, they come together, I think we will see a far, far better approach, far, far better uh, approach towards investors, uh, be it institutional or be it retail. So I have great hopes from that. Just to inform your point further, I was in conversation with the managing director of, uh, of uh, NCDX, and he was telling me, okay, right now, on a ton of agro products, we are not even trading an entire ton. Whereas in, in the foreign markets, they are, per ton of agricultural products, they are trading 10 tons. So that is the kind of depth, liquidity and, and uh, volumes that we can generate by introducing uh, algorithmic uh, platforms. Yeah, just the main thing, like what the regulators don't probably want is denial of service to others. So which actually means that if a HFT, for example, you know, puts as many orders which can deny service to others. That is what the regulators don't want. And which is probably system abuse. So that is something which they don't want, which is good. That much regulation is needed and that much, only that much regulation is needed. So as long as service is available to everyone, you know, let there be less of regulation. Uh, before I move to the next question, I would like to just ask among the audience, how many of the audience are uh, retail investors? Can you just raise your hand? Okay, so that is a, quite a lot of audience who are from retail who won't